On this episode of Impala Overland, I lose a fight with a log, but also show you some amazing scenery. So, if you have watched any of my previous videos, you would have seen uh, a recent trip to the Kapiti Valley. Now, the Kapiti Valley is located in uh, the Blue Mountains um, and is part of or, or the beginning of uh, what is known as the Central Tablelands um, of New South Wales. While in the Kapiti Valley, um, I thought, you know, this is a really beautiful spot. It's really, um, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the scenery. So I decided um, that for our trip in December uh, with my family, we ended up going to the Kolo River. The Kolo River is located in the Wallamai National Park. So, so we camped on the lower reaches of the, the river at a beautiful campsite by the name of Rivers Run Campground. Angela's gone off for the first bathroom run and I have got the setup ready to go. So I'm going to set up the camper and hopefully very shortly get to show you guys what the river looks like here. It is, spoiler, it's really 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 beautiful. yet uh, unfortunately living with a with a toddler uh, sometimes you need to get them fed quickly so on the menu for the evening is uh, veggies roast veggies and a lamb rib made on the Weber cool. so I guess that's one of the differences between camping solo and camping with kids is uh, camping solo you can um, do what I like doing is cooking on a fire. When we we're camping with the kids, uh, the convenience of just being able to hook up gas and make a quick barbecue dinner, um, it's, it's just that much more convenient um, because kids have things like strict bedtimes. So instead of dragging that out and struggling to make a fire, uh, we, we elect to make a barbecue. Dinner is served. I'll spare you what's happening over there. And um, lamb, ribs and veggies. Wholesome. See you on the other side. And with everyone fed and Bub put down for the night, we made ourselves a little mood fire and relaxed. And spent our time doing what you should do on a holiday and that's relaxing. Everyone's in bed already. It's just me and my fire. See you in the morning. So 
here we are on day two of our trip. I'm making some coffee. Bub's running around causing havoc. Probably to, going to take it pretty easy today. It, it, it's overcast. It's wholly overcast at the moment. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that clears up. Bucketing down out there, <laughs> we've decided to jump in the car and go somewhere. Don't know, don't know where we're gonna go yet. We've um, <laughs> we just we just want to get out of the campus. So the 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 campus annex is on, as you've just seen, but it's all it's all enclosed, and there's it's just I mean I could probably put the 270 up on the car. Anyway, we're, so we're going to head off and go find something to do, maybe pub lunch? Yes, yes. Yeah, pub we lunch. Might, might do a pub lunch and, um, and yeah, come back as late as we can. Uh, we, we don't have reception here, so it'll be great to get some cell reception so we can see what the weather's going to be like Ooh. the next couple of days. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Such is life. If it were just me, I'd be able to just sit under the annex under the awning and chill out, probably make a little charcoal fire, make my lunch. But being a family trip, that changes a little bit, doesn't it? So we'll head in, probably head into the nearest town, um, find a nice pub, sit down for lunch, and then we'll head back. We, we decided to go into town and grab some lunch. So we had a lovely pub lunch in town. Um, the one advantage of the Kola River is it is really close to, to a lot of little villages sort of in the, um, the far northwest of, of Sydney. So it's really easy to find a great pub. Uh, after we were we stuffed ourselves for lunch, did a little bit of grocery shopping again. Uh, we like to shop locally wherever we're camping. And after we'd uh, been to town, we headed back. And on the way back, the uh, rainstorm that had, that had come through in the morning uh, totally dissipated. So we had sunshine. And finally, uh, got to do this. Isn't that just awesome? Look at the surrounds. Look at those surrounds. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> we had a chat with the owner of uh, Rivers Run and he recommended going for a bit of a drive up the hill and finding a uh, like a rock shelf uh, along a little fire trail. Uh, obviously you can't drive along the fire trail, um, it's, it's locked um, and also uh, we couldn't take the dogs uh, along the fire trail so we had to leave them in the car unfortunately. So here we are walking in thongs. Looking for koalas. Looking for koalas. <laughs> and looking for a like a rock shelf apparently where you can take some amazing drone footage. So drones on my back. Koala. We're gonna Where? have a look if we can find the spot. Koala. Koala. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, hoping we do find the spot otherwise we'll um, just have broken our ankles for nothing.
thank you for watching this episode of Impala Overland. My first episode of 2022, or my last one of 2021, depending on how you look at it. Um, this year, there's a lot planned. Uh, I've got a lot planned for the channel, a lot of exciting things happening. Uh, and I can't wait to share it all with you. Some exciting places I'm going to go to and um, some exciting things to do with camping gear. So uh, please stay tuned for that. Uh, hit like down the bottom if you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. If you'd like to look at some of my older videos or uh, the, whatever I put out uh, in the year to come. I wish you all the best for 2022. Um, hope you get out there. Hope you can enjoy the outdoors like we do and i hope this video has inspired you to get out there and see the beautiful country that we live in see you next time